Hello my dear students and today I am going to tell you how to find out the orthogonality condition of Legendre polynomial by the help of Scylla. First of all let us know what is the orthogonality condition of Legendre polynomial. And Legendre polynomials are denoted by Pnx or Pmx like this. Polynomials, these are the polynomials and x is the variable here. See here the integration minus 1 to plus 1 Pmx into Pnx into dx is equal to 0 when m is unequal to n and it will be 2 by 2 n plus 1 when n, m is equal to n. If m and n are unequal then this value will be called 0 and if m is equal to n then the value will be called 2 by 2 n plus 1. So this one we will do by the help of Scylla. So let us see. So see here our m is to find out the orthogonality condition of Legendre polynomial. So First of all, you should write clear. Then uh, n, which is input, you have to give the value of n and uh, enter n colon, not semicolon, colon, and you should uh, write within double inverted comma, then semicolon. Then m is equal to input, enter m, then colon, double inverted comma, you should uh, write uh, and uh, semicolon. Then a is equal to integrate the legender. See here the coding is legender m comma zero comma x. We are giving zero. Why we are writing zero? Actually, in associated legender polynomial, you have to give both the values m and n. Here two variables will be the m and n. But here we are simply dealing with legender polynomial, not associated legender polynomials. So that is why in place of both the values you are keeping 1, we are considering 1, so we should give 0, because you have to give 0, okay. So m, comma 0, comma x multiplied by legender n, comma 0, comma x and the legender should be written in small l, not in capital L and uh, we should integrate with respect to x. See here, I have written this legender m comma 0 comma x uh, multiplied by this one within double inverted comma then comma x x should be written within single inverted comma because you are integrating with respect to x and you have to write the limits then first of all lower limit then upper limit lower limit is minus 1 upper limit is 1 okay so now m print f that is integration intg that is the short form integration intg and here p that means legendre polynomial of i of x any order of any one function and uh, multiplied by p f of x with respect to x is equal to this one and now we should write this notation in this way now let us execute this one so see here i am uh, executing so if we execute then the console it will see, the, see here, uh, it is asking to give the value of n. Suppose I am giving the value of n as uh, 2. Okay, then press enter key. Then he is asking you to uh, put the value of m. For example, I am giving 3. That means m and n are unequal. So according to theory, if m and n are unequal, then the value will be equal to 0. So let us uh, press the enter key. See here, the answer is 0. Okay. So let us execute another case. I am again uh, moving here and you have to execute here. Again see in the console. Again he is asking the value of n. Let us uh, put 1 then enter key then 1 then enter key. Now see this is the value. Because if uh, m and n are equal our formula was 2 by 2n plus 1. So n is 1, so 2 by 3 and it will be equal to 0.6. Okay, so this is all about the orthogonality condition of legend of polynomials. So if there will be any doubt, then please ask me in the comment also. Thank you.